Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4, so we've got some new photos for the new episode that's going to be coming up very soon. Not next week, but I do believe it's the week after. It's the episode titled uh, Menagerie, I don't really know how to say it properly, but this is an upcoming episode, and there's been some photos. Also, we've got our first look at Lex Luthor on Supergirl, so we're going to be breaking it down all in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I just double-checked, and it is episode 12 that these photos are coming from. I wasn't exactly sure just right now, but anyway, let's go through these photos bit by bit talking about what's happening and then we'll talk about Lex Luthor just after. So in the first photo we get a look at this new character and she's called Menagerie or however you say it, I have no idea. I'm just gonna call her by her name in the comics, she's also known as Pamela, that's her normal name. You know it's easier for me to say because I don't know. So if you guys can correct me let me know in the comments down below. But essentially the person you're seeing on screen is her and she is a member of the Elite, and her power is Metamorphosis. So the Elite, if you didn't know, if you haven't read the comics or seen the animated film with Superman and the Elite, essentially this is a gang led by Manchester Black, so we're presuming Manchester Black is going to be coming back very soon, and she is a villain, and so she's going to be around, and so presumably they're going to be building up the Elite, in the TV show. And so in the next photo after this you see Kara as Supergirl outside this event it seems like. So something has gone down in this event and I think this photo is amazing. This is probably my favourite photo of this lot and you can see Melissa just staring into probably her eyes or you know into the crime scene or something like that because that's the only reason Supergirl was there. Maybe Kara was there before we don't know, but yeah, just a really, really nice photo outside of this event. And then we go back to Catco, and we see Neonal with Kara. And so this is after the episode where they've been together in Nia's hometown. They've sorted everything out from what's gone on there. So Kara's met her parents. So, you know, they're closer. And so, you know, presumably we're going to get some more Catco scenes like a bit more than normal because you know we don't get all too much anymore which I don't think is a necessarily bad thing because I think occasionally if they show too much in Catco it gets a bit boring with some of the characters but like if you remember back to season 2 it was really fun when mon was just you know strolling around like what the hell is a job and things like that so yeah we're seeing a bit more in this episode and you see Kara in this next photo as she's flicking through some sort of report sheet that she's got and yeah it's just a nice photo inside Catco we see another one with Nia seems to be very similar and we get a surprise appearance of Jean inside Catco we don't really normally see that much unless he's pretending to be Kara so you know it's kind of nice and because he's now a PI he's a private investigator maybe his job in this episode is in cahoots with Kara as a reporter and maybe he's giving her information maybe that's why he is in fact there okay so let's move on to the next photo and in the next photo again we see Kara comforting Nia and following that you see Jean and Jean is smiling as he's walking out in this exact same scene so you know I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to these scenes and in the next photo it's Jean again just prior to that so yeah Kara and Jean are gonna have lots of interactions in this episode and that is exciting to me and that's when we move on and our team meets Menagerie or however you say it so we're in an apartment of sorts it's very very fancy and very swanky very modern so presumably it's her because she's seen at this ball it's kind of fancy like for the rich and so presumably this is her house and we see Alex all suited up in her superhero gear we see Kara in her normal sort of reporter gear just normal human clothes same with Jean in his PI gear and you see Brainy in the back in his DEO gear so this is most likely a mission maybe gone wrong or something along those lines because Alex seems very confrontational to her and in the next photo you see Alex pulls a gun out on her and this is presumably when she's revealed her powers and you know her evil intent whatever it is because right now we don't know obviously they can change the comics and we see Jean and Brainy and Kara in the background sort of like holding their hands out like don't do it or something so Alex is pulling a gun on her so something 
has gone on and in the next photo they're in that very same place and you see Brainy pointing at the place where Pamela was and you see Kara staring at the floor so something gone something has gone on here so maybe she's tried to make an escape or maybe Alex has shot her or something along those lines but you see Jean as he's got like some cuffs on him so you can see that they're trying to essentially get her in cuffs and in the next photo you can see Alex is looking at the ground so again it points all towards her either disappearing via her powers or she's been shot and she's on the ground or something peculiar is going on but nevertheless they're all there inside most likely her apartment or maybe they're looking at a victim maybe it's one of her victims maybe she does this to someone and yeah so I'm really looking forward to that episode I really like those photos you know it excites me a lot more than I was before because I like Manchester Black but I'm not like the biggest fan of what he's been doing this season I think he's pretty good but nothing too special but I look forward to this episode and maybe the return of Manchester Black okay so now let's move on to Lex Luthor so this photo was released the other day of John Cryer as Lex Luthor on the TV show and yeah what can I say he's in prison he's in the maximum security prison it says Lex Luthor on the door and we see John Cryer and he does not really look like Lex Luthor if I'm honest like ah, I don't know I really am not too convinced by what I'm seeing with him so far like it's literally just one photo but I didn't really like the casting anyway, so I'm not sure about this. Let me know if you are in the comments down below. But the thing is, I like Lex Luthor a lot, and I love him in the comics. I love him in animated shows and various other things. But I don't think for Supergirl we need Lex Luthor, so hopefully this is like a one-time appearance. Because seriously... We've got Lena Luthor, we've got Lillian Luthor, we've got enough Luthor stuff and I don't want Lex Luthor to be a villain on the show because it's about Supergirl, it's not about what Superman's villains are going on and doing, it's about what Supergirl's villains are doing. So some of you guys may get that but some of you guys might be like, whatever, he's Lex Luthor, I want to see him. I personally just don't have the desire to see him as a fully fledged villain so hopefully this is just a one time appearance. I don't have any doubt that he won't be good but also at the same time this photo really does nothing for me. I don't know if it does anything for you guys, he's just in prison, you know he's got a beard, Lex Luthor doesn't normally have a beard so it's a bit different, a bit quirky compared to the other Lex Luthors but he's in prison and most likely Lena's going to visit him or maybe he reaches out and all I know is he's appearing in episode 15 which is titled Oh Brother Where Art Thou? So that could mean many things but most likely it's in regards to Lena and what's going on because obviously they are brothers and sisters and so yeah that's really about it in regards to Lex Luthor he's going to be making his debut in episode 15 which will be the March 17th episode as far as I know and so I think he's going to play a pretty big role in that episode and I don't believe that he's going to probably appear that much after this and he's obviously a Superman villain he's really really known for Superman that's about it and he's most likely just going to be with Lena Luthor. I maybe Kara as a reporter will meet him or something along those lines. But yeah, I I have faith, but also at the same time, I don't really care too much if I'm honest. So let me know what do you think about all this in the comments down below. Are you excited for the Menagerie episode or however you say it? I'm excited for that. Does Lex Luthor excite you or not? Like me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and also please be sure to follow me on twitter at the dc tv show if you want to stay up to date with me follow me on instagram at the dc tv show and also subscribe to my film and movie podcast channel those two channels will be in the link in the description below because i just uploaded a video on my film channel and my movie podcast channel so check them out it's about tarantino and about the oscars as well so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye